Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So right now, I'm standing in front of Gran Via, which is the main street here in Madrid, Spain. And I know some of you guys are wondering, why did I decide to move to Madrid? What made me decide to come here in the first place? Well, that's what I'm going to explain in this video. Here are the top five reasons why I decided to move to Madrid. Don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the like button. So, just to catch you guys up on my story. I'm originally from the United States. I lived in New York City for almost 12 years. And my wife is from Mexico. Mexico City to be exact. I lived in Mexico for several years. My career brought me to Mexico originally. And eventually, it's brought me here to Madrid, Spain. This channel is all about the expat life told through my perspective. So if you're considering moving abroad and you'd like to know more about what life is like living in another country, stick around. Well, as you can see, Madrid is a beautiful city and you're probably thinking, who wouldn't want to live here? But besides it being such a beautiful city, there are some more practical reasons that made me and my wife decide to move here at this point in our lives. In Madrid, you'll find many of the same experiences you have in any other major city in the world and to a large degree, much more accessible because it's very affordable. There are great restaurants, theater productions. You even have entertainment on the streets, great entertainment on the streets. But perhaps what makes me feel most comfortable is the fact that there are a large number of different groups of people, different races, different backgrounds, different orientations, and you see the evidence of this every day. My wife and I are not a typical couple, so, for us, it was very important that we found a place that was a reflection of ourselves. The first time I ever came to Madrid was in 2018. And the first thing that I noticed about the city is that it was a very progressive city. It reminded me a lot of living in New York City. At this point in my life, I've lived in New York City, Mexico City. I was born in a small town, and the first 20 years of my life was in a relatively small part of the United States. And now, at this point in my life, I'm living in Madrid, Spain, and I have to be honest. For my opinion, the quality of life in Madrid is the best of anywhere I've lived in my life. Madrid is very safe. The cities have fairly low crime rates for a city of its size. There's a great healthcare system. In fact, within the next decade, Spain will exceed Japan for the country with the longest life expectancy in the world. This was a very huge factor in my deciding to come here to live. Also, the weather is great. The sunniest capital in Europe is, of course, Madrid, Spain. There are over 350 days per year of sunshine right here in Madrid. So, by now you know that I am married and that my wife is from Mexico. And the combination of it being very similar to the life that I used to live in New York City. My wife and I thought that Madrid would be the perfect combination for both of our lifestyles. Once again, my wife is from Mexico City. And as we all know, Spain is the mother country of all of Latin America, including Mexico. Because of that fact, the two countries have a lot in common, not just the same language. I, being African American and having lived in New York City for over a decade, Madrid is a metropolis city in many ways similar to the life that I lived in New York City. Coming soon is a video where I compare my life in New York and Madrid. We both love to travel and one of the best things about living in a Western European country is you're able to travel to the others easily and very inexpensive. These were big factors in both of us making our decision to move to Madrid. One of the biggest differences that I found between life here in Madrid, Spain and life back in the United States is here in Spain people work to live, not live to work which makes the quality of life amazing. Both my wife and I are fitness instructors, and we just so happen to be coming to Madrid at a time where fitness and fitness concepts that have for a few years now been very popular in both the United States and in Mexico are now making their way into Madrid and all of Spain. This is very great for our careers 
and we'd simply love to experience the fitness lifestyle in Madrid. The people are very healthy. You walk through the streets and you see active lifestyles, people jogging, you go to Retiro Park, you see lots of activities involving fitness. This was a very big factor in both my wife and I wanting to move to Madrid. It's a great atmosphere for us to continue our careers in the fitness industry. One big difference between Madrid and many other cities all around the world is you see a lot of families right here within the city. So, with me and my wife both ready to start a family, we thought this would be a great place to begin our family. And both my wife and I deciding to move to Madrid is we felt it is a great place to start a family. From the moment I got here, what I saw that was very different from many other cities that I have been in in my life is that you see people with families living right in the center of the city. But not only that, once again, you see many different types of family. Considering many of the factors that I've spoken about earlier, Madrid also has many biracial children. That was a very important thing for me in particular. Once again, I wanted to have a place where my children could see a reflection of themselves. And although there is no place in the world that is absolutely perfect, I did feel that Madrid was going to be a very good combination for both of our back. And right now at this point in our lives, we are able to travel back to the United States and travel back to Mexico City so that any children that we hopefully will have in the future will still have a strong connection to their roots back in North America. Well, there you have it guys, the top five reasons why I decided to move to Madrid. You guys like this video? Stick around, I have lots of new material coming soon. I'll see you next time.